My name is Julian Birkinshaw. I'm a professor at London Business School and I'd like to welcome you to Managing the Company of the Future. The purpose of this course is to help you understand the forces at work in the business world today and to get a glimpse of what the organisation of the future is going to look like, how it's going to affect you and the organisations that you work for. And we're going to do that by taking a look into the past, to understand today and tomorrow by really taking a, a deep look at what the organisational practices have become over the years by understanding their historical context. We're going to do this by essentially exploring the following argument, and it's in three parts. Part one of the argument is that the business world is changing in fundamental ways. There are forces at work that are profoundly changing our outlook on work. One of them is, is of course, technology. Uh, the emergence of the internet, the emergence of mobility of the internet is making it possible for people to make decisions in real time, for people to share information with one another in ways that they simply could not before. And of course the whole social media kind of revolution has had a profound effect on the way that a lot of people think about their working lives. A second trend is uh, so-called Generation Y. These are the people who were born after 1980 and are now occupying often quite senior positions in organisations. Not only are these people much more tech savvy, much more able to use technology than previous generations, but they've also got different expectations, uh, particularly around, you know, am I going to work for an organisation which actually has some sort of sense of purpose, some sort of raison d'etre in the world. And then there are wider forces. There's the whole emergence of China and India and many other countries and the increasing influence they are having on those of us who work in the developed world and that, if you like, competitive battle between traditional companies and new, new emerging companies is, again, shaping the way that we work. So all of these things together are creating a set of strategic imperatives or challenges that I think are quite new. It's all about being more agile and being more adaptable and being more innovative in order to keep pace with change. It's about making employees more engaged, more happy, if you like, and fulfilled in their work. And it's about making sure our organisations have a sense of purpose. If the first premise of the course is that the world is changing, and the second premise of the course is that the traditional models of management that served us a hundred years ago have been continued to be used today, then the third premise of the course is that there is a basic tension between those two things, and that tension needs to be resolved by organisations experimenting with new ways of working, trying out new ways of working that to some degree kind of cast off the old principles and embrace some of the newer principles that make it possible for us to do things that we couldn't do before. And so that tension is really what we're exploring in, in a great deal of detail during the course.